It's happening. Dale. Dale is completing his transformation into a vampire. Let's see what your dark form's gonna look like, my guy. YouTube, my name is Cezrael, and welcome back to The Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge spin-off, where I follow the lives of my kids from my 100 Baby Challenge. And in this 100 Baby Challenge spin-off, we are following the lives of my triplets, Ariella, Dale, and Chloe, specifically Chloe, but Ariella and Dale are very much a part of it now as well. Chloe's aspiration is to have a vampire family, so we moved the triplets to Forgotten Hollow, where Chloe started a relationship with Caleb Vitor, he turned her into a vampire and she has turned her brother and sister Ariella and Dale into vampires as well as another woman by the name of Evie who also has ties into the 100 baby spin-off of 100 baby spin-offs past it's crazy in the last episode of the 100 baby spin-off Chloe and Caleb got married it was a gorgeous nighttime ceremony so beautiful I'm so happy that they're married also Ariella and Evie completed their transitions into vampires we are just waiting for Dale to complete his transition into a vampire. So in this episode, we're going to be focusing heavily on Chloe's aspiration. She's got to train three of her offspring and reach the next level of being a vampire. So let's get into the game. Let's catch up with everyone and let's raise some vampires. So Dale, he's about to become thirsty, I think, which is very exciting. He's going to complete his transition into becoming a vampire. Oh my god. Ooh, Evie's now a minor vampire. Yes, honey. <gasps> it's happening. Dale. Dale is completing his transformation into a vampire. Let's see what your dark form's gonna look like, my guy. Okay, yes, we need to give you a little bit of a makeover. I'm very excited, though. So let's do it. Let's give Dale his makeover. I'll be right back once it's complete. Five minutes later. So here is Dale's normal everyday form. He's kind of a dapper looking guy. Like he's very uh, trendy with his coat. He's just got style. The guy's got style. So I did want to keep kind of that dapper element, that stylish on trend kind of element, but also a little bit darker. So this is his dark form. The dapper gentleman Dale vampire. So red and black, absolutely classic for vampires but I love this style on him I love the deep red as well looks very cool very formal so that's his everyday dark form and then his formal dark form we've got black because I feel like this tux in the black looks really really nice I then did his hot weather wear and cold weather wear as well for his dark form so this is his hot weather wear kind of ruggedly handsome gentleman vampire that you see here for his hot weather wear and his cold weather wear we went with this realm of magic outfit again with the red and black i think it's very elegant again it suits his dapper style i think so that is dale's dark form i quickly just want to mention as well i did give a little bit of an update to ariella's dark form because syphix released a gorgeous new dress and i just knew that ariella needed to wear it how amazing does she look in this? So this is her everyday dark form dress now. So that is all of my babies. Now vampires. I'm very excited. So Chloe can finally get into training them. Let's get into it. Let's see if we can get any of them actually trained working towards her aspiration. Dig in, Dale. Enjoy. And Evie's like, yeah, there you go, Dale. Welcome to the ranks. So then I tried to get Chloe to train Ariella again. And even though Chloe trained Ariella, it still wasn't coming up under the train three offspring that she had successfully trained her. And it was really confusing. I don't know why. This is the third time she's tried to train Ariella and it just hasn't worked. I'm getting annoyed. I'm getting frustrated. But I figure out the answer in a minute. And we actually do make some progress in a minute. I don't know if this is bugged or what. I've just tried Googling it and I'm doing everything so right. But it's just not coming up in here. And I can't train her anymore because we're now the same rank. And Chloe's not a high enough rank. So am I just never going to be able to finish this aspiration now because of that? Like, what am I doing wrong here? 
Oh my god, Orange Bailey Moon is here. He was someone else that I transformed into a vampire. Hey, can I train you, Orange Bailey Moon? Let's ask to hang out with him. It's the sun, so he needs to get out of the sun. Okay, we're going to offer vampiric training to Orange Bailey Moon. I don't know. I'm hoping that this is going to do something would be great. Because I'm scared that we're just going to be stuck here forever. <gasps> there we go. Train one of three offspring. Why did that work? <laughs> I don't know why that worked. So that's interesting to know. Maybe I can't do it for the people that are already in my house. Which would make zero sense because they're still my offspring. They're just in my house as well. I don't know. Very strange. But at least we've gotten somewhere. <sighs> Who was the other person? It was person with Gideon. Gideon was the other person that I turned. So maybe once he becomes a vampire we can invite him over. I don't know. Anyway, Chloe's having a little bit of a sleep because she's very tired after all the training she's done today. I feel a little bit better knowing that we aren't permanently stuck though. I wonder if I train Orange Bailey Moon again, will that count again? Like, will I be able to train him more than once to complete the aspiration? Or does it have to be three completely different vampires? I don't know. Caleb has successfully resisted drinking deeply for five days, which is fantastic. That's a part of his aspiration. So we'll have to wait and see. What is the last thing? Make five friends. So maybe he can become friends with Orange Bailey Moon and that can be the last friend that he needs. Oh my god, I didn't even notice. Look at our plasma fruit tree. It's grown. Oh, that's so exciting. I'm going to speed through into tomorrow and I'm going to invite... Uh, Orange Bailey Moon and Gideon over tomorrow. Hopefully we'll be able to get something happening for them. The next day. There we go. So now it's at two out of three. So after this, I'm going to call over. I don't know. I'll try training one of them once again. Otherwise, I'm going to have to turn someone else into a vampire. <laughs> I'm hoping we'll be able to train either Orange Bailey Moon or Gideon Harris again and have that count. <laughs> Even vampires have got to vacuum the floor sometimes. Okay, I have the ability to offer Gideon training again, so I'm going to see if training him again will count as another offspring being trained, even though it's the same offspring we've already trained, if you know what I mean. We're just going to find out if we need to turn another sim into a vampire. That's all. I'd say we might have to turn someone else because it generally would straight away come up with the train offspring in here. So I think we're gonna have to turn someone else, which is easy enough done. We've got plenty of choice here today. So who do we want to turn? We've got Max. Let's a uh, vampire turn into a vampire Max. And then we're just gonna have to keep an eye on Max for a couple days until he turns. He's trying to run away. Don't you run away, Max. I'm a vampire. You cannot resist me. You cannot resist me, I'm vampire. Hell yes, Max, hell yes. Soon I will be able to train you and it will be very exciting, Max. That's so weird though, like is it because they're a part of the same house as me that they can't be trained by me? It's very odd. Anyway, we're just gonna have to wait a few days for Max to become a vampire and then she's got to become a prime vampire herself which is pretty close do i have to i don't have to take on any weaknesses now i've got some power points but i want to try and save them if i can honestly hey we've had some people get promoted at work which is fantastic because i did get evie a job in the entertainer career because she wants to be a musician so as part of her new life now that she's a vampire she's going to be a musician it's fantastic so you can oh it has to be of level two of guitar or violin well because you're a vampire why don't we go down the more classical route of going a violin for you caleb's home from work as well yes he is who's he not friends with ariella there we go. Caleb's just completed that level of his aspiration, which is fantastic. So now he's got two good friends. He needs to get permission to drink from two different sims. So click on a sim and choose drink plasma. Select ask for permission to drink to keep things cordial. 
purchase the tamed thirst power which we can do that and create three plasma packs from fish or frogs cool we can also do that now that we're in spring the lake is open and we should be able to get frogs really easily as well so all this is exciting for caleb though can we not get tamed thirst yet no it comes with the next level so we've got to make him a next level vampire radio so we need to get back to working on some reading vampire lore for you then, my guy, so that you can become the next rank of vampire so that we can purchase the Tame Thirst. That's exciting though. I feel like we've had some progress, a little bit of progress today anyway. That's exciting. So you guys, I think that's actually where I'm going to end this episode of the 100 Baby Challenge spin-off. I feel kind of bad. Like, I feel like we didn't get a lot done in this episode and we didn't but I did learn a lot of things that I needed to know because this is the first time I've ever played with vampires and I am learning as I go so hopefully the next episode will be a little bit more interesting we'll hopefully have Max turned into a vampire and Chloe can train him and get to the next level of the aspiration we did get to Caleb's next level though which is exciting and Dale did become a vampire which is also exciting so if you'd like to see more of me and more of my 100 baby challenge spin-off hit the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it to be notified of every time that I upload and if you liked this video let me know by hitting the like button down below and leave me a comment as well please give me some tips if you're familiar with vampires because like I said I have no knowledge of them at all I'm still learning as I go so any tips that you can give me I'd greatly appreciate them down in the comments below it would be great thank you so much but guys I hope you're having the greatest day ever and I will see you in the next video bye